Hi, this is Donna in my garden in Glenside. I'm going to give you a brief overview of what I've planted over the last 15 years, starting with a very long front bed. The one right in front of you I did while I was at the barns because my neighbor thought it would be a good idea if I practiced what I was learning. So I did. It sweeps around a big azalea that is almost ready to bloom to another little bed I just planted this week with some holly fern and uh, chelonia. The beds in the front are fairly shaded by a very big and very old Corcus rubra. Rubrum. This continues along the edge of the driveway and under a good-sized rhododendron maximus, I believe, underplanted with lots of hookera that germinated in my patio. This is a very shady bed that was formed after I built the house. Uh, plywood was stored there so it was a great place to start a garden because there was no grass. On the other side of the driveway we have a good sized bed with some Japanese iris, double file viburnum, laurel and sweet bay magnolia and then down to the newest bed which used to be hemlock and rhododendron but the hemlock came down when the house went up and the rhododendron didn't like the sun. So now it's probably my sunniest bed. It's anchored by two Camisiparis nanogracilis, a tree hydrangea, a serpentine blue atlas cedar, a very large flowering quince that needs a trimming, and a Pocono uh, magnolia grandiflora. That leads up the front walk where I have lots of itea, ferns, a still bee, geranium, hydrangea. A lot of the hydrangea on the property either came from my propagating at the barns or from the greenhouse at the Morris. This is a bed that's largely hosta, but it's not quite out. Again, another bed of hosta that's just popping out. Some bleeding heart, some ferns, some false Solomon seal, which takes me along another property bed. It shows the border of the property. Um, my neighbor and I kind of share this bed. At the moment it has Dutzia that's just ready to pop. A lot of Brunera. Some trees. A Magnolia Sebaldii, which is my neighbor's, and a Stewardia, which is mine. And then a line of back beds that back up to the Pico easement that I talk about if you're if you volunteer with me. There's lots of Pacara aurea back there, woodland poppies, lots of hellebores, some Mahonia that are growing quite large, Father Gilla, some laurels. Lots of ostrich fern. It's time I do a reduction of the ostrich fern population. Osmanthus, Sarcococa, a couple of Viburnum rotidophyllum. You can kind of see back the edge, the pico edged bed 
on the left and two island beds that are in the yard. Walk around to the front of those and show you. A bit more Sarcococa, a whole lot of hyssop, which came from the Pennock Garden when Vince was still in charge, was something he was getting rid of. I've brought more than one plant home from the Arboretum that someone was getting rid of. The hyssop does serve a purpose, however, because the deer don't tend to eat what's near it. They don't like the scent. And the last bed I'll show you today is the other island bed in the backyard. Again, sarcococa, abelias, a stilby, and a couple of, or three, dutzia that are about to bloom. Okay, that's a look at the yard. I'll just do a sweep up toward the house. There are more beds up there that I haven't concentrated on, but you get the idea. Thanks.